Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to start by adding some titanium white to this clean jelly plate. I'm going to create a light colored background and try to build up from light colors to darker colors. That was uh, Naples yellow, and this is raw sienna. So I'm starting off with these very pale colors, mixing it with white. And uh, as you can see, my brayer doesn't squeak anymore. I. Uh, Applied some WD-40 on the uh, on the inside of the roller, so it doesn't make so much noise. I'm going to see if I can uh, create some markings like I usually do. Again, I'm going to put my clean paper and make sure it goes on the registration mark. So this is the first layer. And as you can see where all the markings were placed, they come out in reverse. There we go. So I'm going to set this aside and uh, let this dry. Now I'm going to try to overlay this turquoise on top of this. 
do a second layer. And before I do that, I cut these, um, I cut these shapes uh, out of paper. And uh, I will see what the results are going to be. These are just random shapes that I like. And some of this uh, light blue. Want to be very careful not to make the stencil lift up so it's this is what I meant um, sometimes it doesn't stay just have to go really easy some reason this is not the stencils are not sticking that well but I'll do the best best I can stencils off Okay. 
just making make sure my hands are clean. And I'm using this first yellow print. And I'm going to overlay the blue top of it. And let's see what the result is going to be. Like I said in earlier videos, it's very hard to predict the exact result of laying several colors on top of each other. But um, it's the element of surprise that makes it fun. And sometimes it, it's not so great, but you just keep trying. So here's the second layer. It's a close up of the uh, details. to let this dry. I'm going to try something different. Placing a very high contrast color on top. That is uh, cadmium orange, and this is red ochre. Okay, I'm going to try to use a uh, cleaner brayer. Now, in theory, all of these layers should come up at the same time. So, uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I'm going to try. The trick here, I think, is to apply the paint very evenly and very thinly. It's 
So I'm going to use a fresh piece of paper. I may have put it on a little crooked, but we'll see what the result is going to be. And I am applying extra pressure because I do want all those layers to come up. It's a very interesting result. You can see all the most of the layers are coming away. I can see it's a very complex background. I like this. And I'm pulling this very slowly because I don't want to rip the paper because this plate is quite sticky. Here's the result. And uh, I'm going to put this right side up so you can see. And uh, I'm going to do a little close up so you can see texture which I think is very interesting so I'm going to uh, set this aside to dry and come back to it later and see what else the piece will tell me. Usually the artwork tells me what it wants, so um, I guess the I guess the whole trick here is to be able to listen to what the artwork tells me it wants. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and um, here you see the uh, first print that I had pulled with the yellow background and the blue overlay. Now what I want to do is I cut some scrap pieces of copy paper, and I'm going to create a design Um, since it's difficult for me to think backwards visually, I'm going to need the help of a piece of uh, uh, clear plastic. In this case, I'm going to use the 
um, piece of plastic that came with the jelly plate. So here I am laying down the pieces the way I want them to. And in order to help me keep this arrangement, I'm going to trace their positions. And this is the piece of plastic. And uh, I'm going to, I had used this earlier in another video with uh, some black sh sharpies just to indicate the positions and I just use some uh, hand sanitizer or alcohol and a piece of cotton or a rag and it cleans it up somewhat so you can you can use this over and over again So I'm going to roughly trace these shapes where I would like them to be. Okay. So I have my, what I call my cheat sheet. jelly plate like so and so I can put these guys where they should be okay it doesn't have to be perfect but more or less Is like those IQ tests. Okay, so this goes there. Okay, I got this side down. there just a bit more okay. there now just make sure this is laying flat as flat as possible so when I'm using my brayer it doesn't try to get away I'm taking advantage of the fact that the jelly plate is naturally sticky and actually it's this stickiness that makes it possible to pick up the paint from the plate. Um, I have done all different kinds of old-school printmaking with um, etching plates, litho uh, litho lithography, 
uh, copper plates and uh, I have I must say this jelly plate is very unique that it's easy to use it's relatively inexpensive compared to the classic methods of printmaking and it's easily accessible to everyone okay so now I have my copy paper down with the help of my cheat sheet I'm just making sure that it's firmly placed and another good um, characteristic of this jelly plate since it's so sticky it doesn't move around on my printing table so when I put it down it stays put and it makes life a little easier for me okay so now that I have the stencils in place I'm going to take a look at this and So this is how they're going to fit. So I'm going to, by looking at this, I want to use now a, a very high contrast color, like cadmium orange. It's one of my favorite colors. I'm going to use cadmium orange, uh, maybe a little red. some cadmium red Now the idea here is just to give a touch of contrasting color. It's not my intention to saturate this heavily. It's just a thin layer. roll away from the edges of the stencils so the brayer doesn't pick it up by mistake Okay, now um, 
now that that's done I'm going to take off the stencils it's very easy to forget to do this um, I did that in an earlier video because I got too excited So, so far my stencils are behaving and not falling apart. Sometimes they do. Um, that's why I like to save scrap paper. So, uh, there we go. So since this is a very thin layer, I'm going to act quickly and not let this dry. So here's the print. And putting a second layer, I mean, sorry, I mean a third layer. Being a printmaker, I'm trying to be neat and try to keep these smudges off the back, but sometimes in the heat of the moment, it can't be helped. Okay, I'm applying a firm and even pressure on the paper. Okay, let's see what we got. This is the exciting part. Let me get my little chopstick here so where you you see these open spaces that's where the pieces of paper were and that causes the, this effect which I'm after and actually it picked up most of the color Here's the result of the third layer and the registration is still fairly good. So the, the colors fall on the same place. That's what I want. I'm going to uh, turn this right side up so you can see. Here's a close-up. I like that texture where you see the mark of the brayer. Almost like a brush mark. And uh, here's another part of the texture and looks looks like the texture of uh, wood, which I like.
I like this uh, arrangement and I like this color combination. So uh, I will let this dry a little more and do some collage on this piece. 